Hi everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. And one of the things I appreciate about the program is that built right into the program is a DVD authoring system. DVD authoring means creating your DVD, not just the video, but the navigation, the menu system. And you can create your own menu system right in your Premiere Elements project without actually leaving your timeline. I'd like to do this in a couple of sessions. In part one, we're going to add our scene markers to our timeline. These scene markers will connect to the scene menu on your DVD. Then in part two, we're going to add our menu itself and modify it a little bit. And then in part three, which will be available to our MoviePix subscribers, we'll show you how to add a bonus feature or a blooper reel as a special feature to your DVD. But right here in part one, we're going to add some simple scene menu markers. To add a menu marker, we simply position the playhead and we can drag it right back here to the very beginning of our movie. And we can add a marker either by right clicking on the playhead itself and selecting set menu marker, or by clicking on the markers button here in the upper left of the timeline. Set menu marker. This is the menu marker option panel. And in here, we'll give the menu marker a name, which in this case, we'll call it arriving and we'll set the thumbnail offset. The thumbnail offset is what will appear on your scene menu along with the name of the scene and the scene menu marker does not have to be at the position of the playhead. In other words we've got kind of a boring thumbnail here it doesn't really mean anything and we can drag across the time code by clicking and dragging until we get to a more interesting picture like right there. And notice it does not change the position of the menu marker itself. It just changes the thumbnail that appears with the menu marker on the scene menu page. So there's our first one. We'll click OK. Let's position here for our second marker. This time I'm just going to right click on the playhead and select set menu marker. We'll call this one new friends. Now you notice there are a couple of different kinds of markers, main menu markers, stop markers, and scene markers. Don't worry about these other two. They're more advanced right now. Mainly in this tutorial, we want to talk about scene markers. So we're going to have scene markers on our timeline. And then finally, a third one here we'll call the party. And those are our three green menu markers. We can change their positions just by clicking and dragging on them. And you notice they kind of snap to the beginning of each clip. And if we want to change anything about them, all we need to do is just double click on the marker itself here in our timeline, and it will reopen the menu marker option panel. Now, once we've created our menu markers, we can add our movie menu itself, which we're going to do in our next session. And that movie menu will interact with the markers here on our timeline. Pretty cool, huh? And I hope you'll come back to see that in part two of this tutorial series.